Hello everyone, welcome back in another video. In this video, we are going to replace this motherboard with our new one. So my old motherboard gone bad and I purchased a new similar motherboard as you can see it is similar motherboard and uh, my in my old motherboard everything is still connected so I have to remove everything or all, all the components I have to deassemble it and reassemble it using this motherboard in order for it to work fine so let's get started so first of all before deassembling anything or before touching any component in this computer in this tower we have to press and hold the power button press and hold the power button for five seconds by doing that we flush out all the power which is inside the computer which is stored in capacitors and uh, after that it is much safer to touch anything inside it and you won't have any fear of uh, destroying anything I mean uh, in short circuit or any kind of shock there will be no danger of that so first of all now let's start with deassembling first of all we start with unplugging cables unplugging power cables here this is for south bridge and this is for north bridge it is main processor cable the thick one so now power cable is not connected anymore we will unplug the SATA cables which are connected to my flash my optical drive and my hard drive of the computer they are unplugged great and now I will take out RAM from my computer RAM is here and uh, okay so most of the things are unplugged now for taking motherboard out I have to remove this cooler master cooling fan and uh, after that I will take out the graphic card which is right here this one is the graphic card that is cooler master cooling fan and uh, there is my hard drive so yes let's take out the hard drive quickly for that I need screwdriver here I have my multi 32 in 1 electro C screwdriver set and uh, here is my Phillips bit to take that Phillips screw out okay here it is one and two they are out now it is safer to take the hard drive out but before that I have to I should unplug all the cables like the SATA cable from the hard drive and this power cable from the hard drive now let me put that cable there and I will take my hard drive out this is why my one terabyte hard drive Seagate hard drive one Seagate one terabyte hard drive okay let's put that aside all right that's my hard drive out and now taking the cooling fan out is uh, long uh, will take a long time it, it will be easier to take out graphic card right now so 
let me take out this cover out this cover first this cover is out now and uh, let me remove that mm -hmm. and uh, this is screw is out which is securing graphic card to a particular position that is also out and here is the graphic card which is Asus 2GB graphic card okay it is out now let me unplug the pin of cooling fan so the cooling fan is unplugged let me take it out If you follow these steps, I uh, mean uh, removing hard drive first and then graphic card and then cooling fan, it will be much easier to unscrew everything and uh, deassemble everything and nothing will come in the way. Because if I would have not unplugged the graphic card before, I, I should not be able to unscrew this cooling fan with my hand so that's the reason I took it out first because it was in the way so I took out graphic card and uh, cooling fan cooler master cooling fan out and there's some thermal gel on the processor which I have to, I should clean clean up I'm using this clean uh, towel tissue for doing that and uh, make sure it is clean Okay, that's clean and uh, now I will turn it the other way so I can take the other cover out too because I will be able to see the other side of the motherboard which is very important for me I will show you why So as we are on the other side of the motherboard and uh, we can see how many screws are securing the motherboard. There are one, two, three, four. Four screws which are securing this motherboard. So let's see and let's flip it the other way. Here they are. One, two, three and four okay it's almost done Okay, the last one is here. Now I should be able to. Uh, no, there's one more. This one. Okay, I should be able to take the motherboard out now. Uh -huh. All right, it's free to take out. All 
right now this motherboard is out as you can see finally you just have to replace it with the other one and reverse the process and put the other one in that's it that's all for today thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it give us a thumbs up if you like this video and see you in the next video bye bye have a good day